The lives of young children move quickly as they develop and grow. But have you ever stopped and looked at how they are thinking? How they make meaning of the world around them? If you look closely, babies learn by making observations, forming hypotheses, testing theories, and expanding on their newly formed knowledge. This is STEM. Babies engage in STEM every day, but they don't do it alone. Although babies are born scientists, they need engaged adults to wander alongside them and provide opportunities to explore. You hear that sound? You are making that sound. They do STEM every day. They question, they, they wonder, they give you the cues. They look up at you and almost are asking a question. And then you, you gotta just help them to find answers. They're looking for you to engage as well, and it's kind of like a back and forth reciprocal um, conversation you have with children when they're doing their investigation. So first we brought out the measuring cups and the spoons to add with the drums, which were familiar. Then I slowly brought down the wind chimes, and I really thought they would really be so excited about seeing them. And um, so I went and kind of hit them a little bit with my finger and it, the children looked up at me, but then they went right back down and looked right at the drum and started to beat the drum. So it, that really just told me they weren't quite ready yet to engage with the chimes and I was kind of a little bit baffled. And I said, I gotta adapt to this and I have to change my plan. Well, where did the music go? It was music and now it's all gone. I like to put the materials out, but let them lead the investigation and see what they're interested in. And then adjust from there, uh, follow their cues, follow their interests. I might have an idea of an activity in mind, but they are the ones that are going to lead the investigation and their interests and what they want to investigate might be something completely different than what I had in mind. Where is that sound coming from? It's a new sound. Less is more. So um, not putting out as many materials at once and kind of limiting the color and if you can kind of leave the materials more open-ended so children can um, take the materials and manipulate them together and try to figure them out. I'm gonna put it inside, inside, inside. Oh, oh, so much. oh you're trying so hard. You're trying to put the cup inside. Oh, it was exciting to see how engaged they were. We were just using measuring cups and utensils from the kitchen and it was amazing as we were counting out and even they knew how to set the tempo fast and slow. During our investigation yesterday, I had a sound box and inside it I had um, took Tupperware sandwich containers and I added different types of like beans and rice in them so they snapped together, but yet we could stack them, but they made sound. And then I took another Tupperware round cylinder container and I put a couple other things that would make a different sound. They were dice in there. So every one of those components that were in the sound box made different sounds. So, and I just set it down and I let the children pull the materials out and investigate it. Typically people think that babies will only take like maybe five or 10 minutes watching or, or playing with an activity, but these babies well went beyond like 30 minutes at least with, with the drum alone. Come and reach. There you go. There you go. 
You shake. There you go. Is, is she reaching and she grabbed it? They do STEM every day. It's just that sometimes we aren't as observant and we don't realize what they're capable of. And they're very capable of doing STEM throughout their daily routines and their activities. To support infants' engagement in STEM, set up the environment intentionally based on children's interests. Choose open-ended materials. Follow children's lead and adjust your plan.